Hey guys, some of you may remember one of the coolest commercials to roll down the pike at the end of 2022, and that cool commercial is probably going to produce one of the hottest products of 2023, guaranteed. And if you remember the commercial, it was a male witch, a warlock, if you will, standing over a black kettle, smoking cauldron, and he was throwing some magic potions at it and speaking some spells, and there was smoke rolling, and he ended up throwing in a trophy line EDP and a mission and a wingman. He fused them all together, said some black magic, and out popped. Well, we never saw the end of it. We don't know what out popped until today. What that resulted in, guys, is the Trophy Line Onyx. It is a fusion or a marriage of all three of their most popular platforms. If you've ever decided or ever wondered as a platform guy, which one should I go with? Should I get the EDP? Should I get the mission? I like the angles of the wingman. They put it all together in one platform, guys. Angles on all three sides, flat surface to stand on, integrated stomp pad, claw design, cast iron, all one piece, guys. Trophy Line is known for having the most solid platforms in the industry. I mean, the, you just, you can hang a truck off of them almost. Guys, this thing, we, Gabe and I have each had one of these for over a month cannot get it to budge once you strap it to a tree we're going to go over all the details all the specs show you everything there is to know about the new trophy line onyx in today's video stick with us okay guys i usually do this part in the archery room but it is so warm out here today i mean we're going to hit we're hitting 55 60 degrees and i'm going to take advantage of the natural lighting so i'm going to come out here on the deck and going to discuss the uh, specs and first thoughts of the Onyx and tell you a little bit about uh, what, I, what I was thinking when I saw it and, and then we'll jump on a tree here in a little bit to close it out as well, show you, show you the foot room. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna have Gabe get right up underneath me, show you how much foot room there is, show you the angles and stuff. But uh, I've got it out here with both the EDP and the Mission and, and I wanted to compare the specs with it for you, so uh, we'll show you a close-up here of how it matches up as far as the uh, the footprint goes. But the EDP is roughly 13 and a half by 13 inches. Okay, 13 and a half by 13 inches. It weighs three pounds and 13 ounces. Three pounds and 13 ounces. That's the specs on an EDP. Uh, a lot of people love the mobility, the run and gun, uh, just how it lends itself to that. Uh, of being real, really mobile and and you know on the lighter end compared to the mission and, and you'll see that the onyx comes in right in between it's it's a good happy medium between the two because the mission everybody loves the foot room that it has how stable it is it's 17.9 by 13.8 so almost 18 inches across by 13.8 inches deep but it weighs 5.4 pounds and i have a lot of guys who, who pm me and they're like man i, I might as well just use a a little lightweight stand and, and there's there's guys that have gravi gravitated toward it right but it is so solid and this thing does provide maximum foot room but it comes in at 5.4 pounds so the edp was three pounds 13 ounces this is almost five and a half pounds the onyx comes in right in the middle so 14.9 pounds or 14.9 inches rather by 13 so almost 15 by 13 is the footprint on this and it's four and a half pounds so right there in the middle uh, again when we talk about a fusion of of all the platforms and then it has the angled sides so uh, i'll tell you i see a sneak preview of this as it was in the design phase I actually got to look at the cad drawings and and guys i was super excited about this a lot of you guys know i'm a really big fan of angled platforms i myself am a leaner and what that means is i predominantly spend the bulk of my time in a saddle leaning back as opposed to sitting uh, that's the the way that most people hang out in a saddle is you're either a leaner or a sitter well i'm mostly a leaner I, i'll i'll sit sometimes to to alleviate pressures and things like that but as a leaner what i love is almost like sitting in a barber chair right i, I love my foot to be in a natural position and we'll show you that out here on, on the on the tree i love my foot to be in a natural position and i want it supported with the saddle I don't want to sit on an edge, and, and I actually incurred a lot of foot problems when I began my saddle hunting career, because I was leaning my foot on the edge of a flat platform, and that caused a, a lot of problems. I'm actually gonna, gonna do a video in depth about 
about that. Um, what boots are good for for saddle hunting and things like that coming up. That's a that's a video that's coming up pretty soon. So as a leaner, I was really I, I love angled platforms, right? The wingman front, how that angles, I, I love that. Well, when I saw the CAD drawing of, of this design, this concept of three angled, angled flat, angled surfaces on all three sides, got really excited about it. And I'll be honest with you, again, trying to, trying to give you my very honest opinion, when I got it in the box, when I got it, the mailman dropped it off, UPS guy dropped it off, right? I took it out of the box and I looked at it, I'm like, man, that's not as much foot placement, foot angle as I was anticipating from seeing the CAD drawings on the computer. And I was actually let down a little bit when I opened it up. I'm like, I really wanted it to be a lot more angle there. Well, that would have put it more in the realm size-wise of the, of the mission. You would have lost the usable space on the flat. What I found out was once I strapped it to a tree and started and actually spent hours and hours and hours on this platform, okay, I've had it for a long time. This is enough to alleviate the foot pain that I incurred way back years ago and developed a bad case of plantar fasciitis by sitting my, my heel or my, my arch of my foot right on that flat surface. This is enough to alleviate it. I haven't had any problems with it the, the time that I've spent on it. So it gives you just, just about enough of a rounded edge to give you a comfort, kind, kind of a, a, a comfort, um, just a comfortable foot experience, for lack of a better term. And, and then you still have the, the ability to stand and move around and take off side, weak side shots and things like that. So uh, we will jump out there on a tree and show you all that, how, how it looks with my foot on it. Um, also, I will tell you that this, one thing is noticeable about this is it doesn't have that huge hump. You guys realize, you remember when I did the video on the mission, uh, that hump was problematic for packing it in. The EDP actually still has a little bit of that same hump in it. The Onyx, they pretty much, there's a little bit here, but it's, it's not the same hump. And they've also reduced the size of the Versa button. Um, it's just, it's, it's a super, super solid. Uh, we'll jump out on it. It's a super solid platform. Guys, I'm gonna give myself some tether. Put those four out. I mean, that's that's way more out than I would normally lean. I can't jump out hardly any higher, guys. That platform isn't even wiggling. Because if you want a solid, solid platform, I mean, that was way, that's, that was a lot of tether slack. That's about as solid as they can make it, guys. As I was talking about on the deck, as a leaner, there's enough angle, and I realize my boots are dirty, guys. We've been hunting hard. We actually accessed a uh, really good area two nights ago. Gabe and I crawled through a ditch that was full of mud. But uh, so forgive the mud on the boots. If you wanna know how much room there is, stand up, move around. Gabe's gonna come directly underneath me. I mean, I'm, I'm very comfortable here. I mean, you have plenty of room to move move around. Turn for an all side shot. But those little, there's just enough of an angle. Like I said, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, I wish there was more angle. We put hours on this thing now. There is enough of an angle that you can stand here and be really comfortable and not worry about it really being sharp on the arch of your foot. 
there's little integrated lugs around that gives you I mean it's this is easy to walk around guys super super easy these little protrusions on the side here make it super easy a lot of guys ask how do you take an offside shot when you got something like this it's just super easy to walk around here shoot over here if you need to I mean there's enough flat surface that you can stand up and just turn if you wanted to me personally when I'm hunting I've got my bow in hand. I've already identified a target coming in. Big doe, buck, whatever. If it's starting to come in over that side, it's just as easy for me. Let myself go in. There's plenty enough grip on that, guys. There's actually little fins. I'm gonna let myself down. And we'll show it to you again on the deck here. There's actually like little fins here that stick up where my hands are that you can push off on. There's one, two, three, one, two, three. If you're wondering kind of what I'm pushing off on. Those fins make it super easy to maneuver around. You wanna put your foot up here. It's just a solid, solid platform, guys. Plenty of foot room. Just enough angle to make it comfortable to stand on all three sides. If, you're, if you just hang off to the side, I get plenty of it. There's enough of a rounded edge there, enough of an angle that it's not hurting my feet. So let's show you how much adjustment it's got up and down on it. We'll do that on a smaller tree at ground level. Okay, guys, I want to show you how much is an adjustment is built in with this screw right here. So right, right now we've got it backed all the way out. So this is for an incline here. So if we push this down, you look it's contacting the screw there the nut the nut head so that that's as far up as it will go and you might say well why in the world do I need to go that far up well you might be on a tree that's leaning way out toward over a field edge or something and you not might need that much but it's way more than enough okay so here's the opposite side So you can back this screw all the way out. This, this one has a lot more adjustment than either the EDP or the Mission did. So I've got it backed all the way out. I'm gonna set it down. And it is again bottomed out on that. But you'll see how much more of an angle down in addition to that, we've got the angled size, the three angled size here, but from one extreme to the other, a lot more downward angle than either the EDP and especially the mission had. Okay guys, final thoughts. Uh, really, really impressed with this. Like I said, we've had this for quite a while. Did not want to put this video out for number one, I don't like putting out a video as soon as I get a product. I want to put it through its paces. Number two, today is the launch day at the ATA show in Indy where this is going to be unveiled. So uh, you're getting a first, first hand view of it right here from someone who's been hunting with it for over a month. And uh, just, a, just a great little platform, guys. EDP, $189.99. Mission, $199.99. This one's coming out at $229.99. But it is a marriage of all the top features into one platform that Trophy Line offers. You're going to love this one.